June 10th, 2023. Alright, what are we doing? Um, I'm going to be performing my speech for Epic Warriors. This team over the past year has done over 550 hours of service to the city of Worcester. They have, they have cleaned parks, they have painted murals, they have built benches, they have learned about political literacy and media literacy, they've made resumes and done mock interviews, they've learned about public speaking, they have done so much over the past year to now go on to whatever is next for them. Dylan has shown true dedication to our team, community, and EPIC over the past year. Please help me in honoring and welcoming our graduating speaker, Dylan. Hello, Service Warriors, EPIC staff, and visiting friends. Welcome to our 2023 Honoring Young Leaders event. My name is Dylan McNamara, and I am currently a service warrior for our Worcester service team, and I am pleased to announce that I was accepted to be a service leader for our upcoming 2023 to 2024 service, service year. I was diagnosed with autism at age 12. Um, I thought I would never find a job because of my autism, but, uh, but I'm working to overcome this mindset and I joined Epic um, Service Warriors to discover my true potential as a leader. I am currently seeking a job, and I know that with the skills that I have learned at Epic, I will have a chance of getting one. I want to join Epic to show, that my, to show the world that my disability does not define who I am. My mom and dad taught me to speak up for myself um, and self-advocate. I am continuing to work on these skills with Epic with the Epic Service Warriors. Epic has taught me a lot about the history of disabled people in the workplace and how, and how people with disabilities fought for their rights to work. I learned to write a resume, which I'm, current, which I'm using for my current job. Um, I discovered that I have a lot of leadership skills I didn't even realize I had, such as the ability to lead a group even when the group members are being stubborn. Epic has, also taught <laughs> Epic has also taught me what I can do if I get discriminated against in the workplace for my disability and how to self-advocate for my accommodations. I learned that as a person with a disability, I'm capable of great things, especially as a leader in my community. Um, this year, as a service warrior, I'm hoping to accomplish um, building a team effectively and encouraging others to work together. I want to, become a better, I want to become a better leader and use my ability to help those who may require redirection. I want to accomplish my goal of building a strong team and getting everyone on the team more involved. I also want to encourage others to advocate for themselves in an appropriate manner. I want to be um, an inspiration for others who are having doubts about themselves. I also want to make everyone feel welcome and create an inclusive environment. Thank you all to the friends, family, and community members who are here to celebrate EPIC. Without your support, there would be no EPIC. To my current EPIC team, thank you for all the, all the hard work this year um, and all the great memories. We were a small but mighty team. I will never forget waking up early to take the train into Boston and meet the Boston Service Warrior team. We had a lot of fun and I got to meet new people. And um, to my new service team, I'm looking forward to new experiences and helping you grow your skills as leaders. I'm excited to see what's next for Epic Worcester. Congratulations, Epic, Epic Worcester. <laughs> Feeling nice.